An overpowered MC is always fun, super strong and powerful, literally unstoppable. Although the journey of our hero becomes a truly unstoppable force can be fun and interesting, sometimes you just want to see our MC kicking ass and shocking everyone at the very beginning. Welcome to Animeology. Join us as we take a look at this source of anime where the MC starts off overpowered and everybody definitely knows it. Number 10, Hinamaru Sumo. Hinomaro Sumo is a really fun sports anime that takes us on a deep dive into the rich cultural world of sumo wrestling, following Hinomaru on his first of high school as he joins the sumo club and aims to become the best in his school and perhaps one day the best in the country. We jump straight into the action with Hinamaru Sumo as we learn that the high school sumo dojo has actually been taken over by some rowdy school delinquents. Hinamaru doesn't back off and challenges the gang leader to take back the dojo. Downing him with one hit, everyone starts to realise just how powerful our MC really is. Although he starts off insanely powerful and shocking the other members, the world of sumo wrestling is huge and littered with many powerful opponents. Hinamaru needs to train and he needs to train well if he aims to reach his dreams and become one of the greatest wrestlers in the country. Number 9. Toganio no Chi You know you've struck gold when you start off as a video game but spawned into a manga, a novel and an absolutely brilliant anime series. Set in a ravaged world after the gruesome Third World War, Japan was divided into East and West. Many years pass and a vicious crime organisation have taken hold of the former Tokyo and wreak havoc with its residents. A major form of income from the crime empire is the battle game known as Igaru, in which players need to kill and take the tags of their enemies. Our hero, Akira, has been falsely accused of murder and spent some time in prison, meeting a beautiful and mysterious woman that offers him his freedom if he joins the deadly game of Igura and wins. The cool and silent type we learn more about the orphan Akira and his history as the undefeated street champion until getting locked up in prison. With nothing but his knife at his side, Toganyu Nochi gets very heavy very fast. Extremely stylish and slick with little time for heavy drama or emotions, this is one series that'll have you glued to your screen and screaming out for the knife-wielding Akira to come out on top. Number 8. Mushuko Tensei – Jobless Reincarnation <laughs> Following an absolute deadbeat, a 34-year-old Japanese neat, no job, no hope, no nothing, forced to move out of his parents' home after their death and in an effort to try and make something of his life. Managing to save a random teenager but dying in the process, we find our, our we find our hero waking up as a baby in a magical world of sword and sorcery. With the new name of Rudius Grey Rat, our hero aims to use his new life to the fullest. With early training, it turns out that Rudius is a highly skilled and extremely powerful magician. Finally feeling comfortable and happy with his life, this new world gets plunged into danger. A major magical disaster strikes and destroys most of this new realm. Murder, war, monster attacks, Rudius is forced to go on a journey in order to overcome insurmountable odds in order to save his new home. Number 7. Kyokosuri <laughs> A really interesting blend of mystery against a supernatural backdrop, Kyokosuri or Inspector as we know it is really a jaw-dropping and teeth-clenching watch. 
Not afraid to go to some very heavy places, you'll be hooked by the thrilling main story arc and itching to know what happens next. Following Kuru, after his recent breakup, we learn of Kotoko, another girl that has been in love with her MC since meeting him around two years ago. We then learn that she is actually a goddess of wisdom and a connection between the real world and the supernatural. Kuru doesn't believe her at all, but we soon learn that they've both been keeping secrets from one another. Kuru isn't just your average university student. He is actually a monster that has consumed the flesh of a demon at a young age. Giving himself insane powers, it goes without saying that everyone is seriously surprised. His radical healing makes our MC practically immortal. The two bring interesting chemistry as we follow Kuru and Kotoko on various adventures as he assists her with her duties as the peacekeeping goddess of wisdom. Number 6. To be heroine Alright, so this is a little bit confusing. To Be Hero is season 1 of this highly successful and brilliant show. To Be Heroine is season 2. Both extremely unique and different from one another, season 2 really takes the series to new heights. We learn of the immense social pressure about Futaba as all her friends and loved ones expect her to grow up and act like an adult. Her mind starts to fray and can't really keep herself mentally balanced, deep within she will always remain childish. The story kicks off as Futaba wanders off into another dimension, a world of darkness and light with people that exist as babies wearing nothing but underpants. Summoning clothes as powerful fighters, this crazy world and strange sense of humour is something that drew us in and kept us there. Number 5. Plunder a world of epic action and high fantasy, Plunder shows us a post-apocalyptic planet that is ruled by ratings. Every single person is measured and imprinted with a number, a count that indicates the value of that person. This number can relate to anything, a person's skill, at any ability. However, as that number reduces and drops to zero, the person gets dragged into the abyss and remains dead for all eternity. We follow Hina, walking indefinitely in search of her mother that was dragged into the abyss, searching for a legendary warrior that was her mother's dying wish and meeting a strange masked knight with a negative number count. A peculiar and strange world that had us hooked from the first moment. Plunder starts to slowly reveal more and more about the interesting setting which ultimately becomes a character in itself. Even our hero with a negative count of 1001 should have been dragged into the abyss a long time ago. What does this count measure? The number of times he got rejected by girls, of course. Number 4. Assassin's Pride <laughs> An intense tale of humanity on its last legs, almost completely wiped out, humans exist in one single city-state. Individual city blocks are separated by glass domes, a very interesting and bleak view of the future. The world outside these domes is one of eternal darkness and is rumoured to be filled with savage beasts, the stuff of nightmares. However, the problem within the domes are worse than ever. A serious commentary about class, the few remaining humans are divided from nobility to commoners. Noblemen have pure, rich blood that has granted them superhuman abilities, enabling them to actually fight and kill some of the demonic beasts that exist in the eternal darkness outside the domes. The leading lady is the beautiful Melinda Angel, although a noble has not yet developed her powers. She befriends a beautiful assassin, Kufa, at school. Kufa is one of the most powerful warriors in the world, a half-human, half-vampire hybrid. Kufa is tasked with killing Melinda if he discovers she isn't truly their heir to the noble bloodline. We don't want to get into it and ruin some plot points for you, but definitely give Assassin's Pride a watch. Number 3. Seeking No Blacksmith yeah! 
A grand story that takes the viewer on an epic journey from the very first episode, Seekin' No Blacksmith is definitely one of the greats. Forty years have passed since a great war ravaged the land. The demon contract was a weapon so powerful that it was deemed to be the deciding factor in the battle. Humans would sacrifice their bodies in order to become powerful demons, causing an insane amount of damage. The surviving nations agreed to ban the use of these dangerous weapons. We follow Cecil Campbell, a young knight that faces an embarrassing defeat but is saved by a mysterious blacksmith, Luke Ainsworth. Luke wields a powerful katana to the Luke wields a powerful katana to the surprise of many. An extremely talented swordsman, Luke's true ability lie in his blacksmithing abilities. Arrogant and private, Luke has a soft spot for Cecil although he does enjoy making fun of her. Combining the powerful magic abilities of Cecil and the insanely long-forgotten swordplay of Luke, Senkin No Blacksmith brings an impressive and powerful duo with an engaging and interesting chemistry. Number 2. Our Last Crusade or The Rise of a New World A beautiful fantasy romance with some light traces of science fiction, Last Crusade is portrayed with a heavy backdrop of an endless war between a technologically advanced empire and a nation of extremely powerful magical users. Following a powerful duel from both sides of this epic war, determined to kill each other but deep inside, both wishing for the end of this war. Slowly drawn together, an impressive romance and relationship starts to blossom engaging and entrancing, comparing the story of Romeo and Juliet but with more impressive fight scenes. Although extremely powerful warriors, both our heroes, the insanely OP Iska and the unbelievably beautiful Alice Lace, have such sympathy and tenderness for both the war and each other, their faith and belief in humanity across the grim setting of this vicious war is really refreshing and has delivered some of the most engaging characters you will see in an anime. And number one, Dororo. Some of the greatest series out there have a strong basis in history. There is just something really compelling about watching an interesting reimagining of a famous person from history in a more action-packed and twisted dark fantasy version of reality. Dororo aims to do just that. Following a young ronin by the name of Kakimaru and an orphan thief called Dororo, the ronin was cursed from birth and was born malformed without any limbs or facial features or internal organs. This is due to a pact that his father made with the demons for great power and wealth. Set adrift by his mother and discovered by a medicine man, Kayaki Maru was healed and given another chance at life. Prosthetics created from the remains of children who died at war, except his left arm, a special blade forged out of vengeance and perfect for slaying the many supernatural beasts that plagued the land. But don't worry, Dororo gets a lot cooler. Definitely check out this series as you see an unlikely pairing start to warm up to one another and develop a deep and intense bond as they traverse this horrifying version of Shengoku period of Japan. 